Today I'm going to tell you about a window in DaVinci Resolve 17 that you may not be aware exists, or even if you do, you may not realize what it's used for. So I'm going to quickly show you what that's all about and how you can use it to your advantage. Here we are obviously in the color page of DaVinci Resolve 17. Underneath our viewer here, we have the timeline. And this is all our clips laid out left to right, which mirrors our timeline on the edit page. So you can see here the first two clips on the left-hand side are of me. If we come back to the edit page across the bottom, these two clips over here are the same two clips. This is the only view that you're going to get of the timeline. And actually, if you don't see the clips across the bottom, you can click on clips up here. So because it's just this one horizontal line, you may want to select certain clips, but then you'll have to scroll over. And that will lead us into the next thing that I'm going to mention. So for example, let's say I select this clip right here, and then I wanna choose another clip. I'll hold down control on my Windows machine and I'll select this one. But you can see what I'm doing here. I'm scrolling over, I'll select another one, and then I'll just continue to scroll over. We may miss something or if there's a larger timeline than the one I'm using here, you'll just have to continue to scroll and scroll. Now, in order to facilitate that, what we can do is click on the option up here in the top right corner that says Lightbox. And this shows us all our clips on the timeline. Now, this window does have functions other than the one that I just mentioned, but as I alluded to just a little while ago, you can come in here and you can see all the clips side by side. So this way you could say, hey, you know what? I like this one too. I'm gonna click on that, that, and that. So having them all laid out on the screen like this just gives you a big picture of your entire timeline. If these windows are too small, you can come up here and you can make the adjustments. Or if you can't see all of them and it's a little confusing, you can obviously come over here and make it smaller. Now, before I tell you another added functionality of this screen, let me show you a couple of things that you can do in here. So on the left-hand side, we have this window here. This will allow you to sort your clips to make them easier to see. And what I mean by that is, let's say that we selected those clips and we only wanna focus on those. So we can come over here and instead of all clips, I can choose selected clips, and that's everything that I clicked on. If we flagged any clips, we can choose that. If we've graded a bunch of clips and we forgot which ones we haven't graded, we can come over here and choose ungraded clips. Now let's say we did that. Instead of selected clips, let's pretend that this actually was our ungraded clips. If I wanted to grade a certain clip, let's say I wanted to grade this particular clip right here, I can click on it, click on Lightbox again, and that will bring us right back to the color page. And this way we can go ahead and make the adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and click on Lightbox again, and then I'll go ahead and click on All Clips again. Right near the top here, we have color controls. So if I click on that, we have all the color controls that we have back on the normal color page. So if I click on Lightbox, you'll see that they remain at the bottom there. So I'll click on Lightbox again to bring us back to this screen. Now, a thing to keep in mind is that this works primarily if you have a second monitor. You can either use something like a deck link to send to a different monitor or something along the lines of if you come up to workspace and you do video clean feed, you can send it to another monitor. Obviously, I wouldn't necessarily recommend, even if you were to make these windows larger, I wouldn't recommend making any color adjustments here. The other added feature of having something like this is let's pretend that this was a short film. Obviously, we have a bunch of different non-connecting clips over here. But if this was a short film and you had a bunch of different scenes, especially if they have the same character in them, you'll be able to see the color difference between the two scenes. Obviously on the color page or the edit page, you can swap back and forth between two clips and you can see it there. Or even on the color page, you could do something like a wipe where you can wipe between the two clips side by side. But as I mentioned before, this sort of gives you a bird's eye view of everything. And if there's one clip that really sticks out, you can use this to uh, assess that clip. And then if you think that that one is the one that sticks out, you can click on it and then go ahead and make your adjustments back on the color page. So that's where something like this people option comes into play. Now this is something that you would have to set up ahead of time such as the, the flag clips or the marked clips or anything like that. Now I will mention that all these options right here are actually over on the normal color page. If we come up to clips, you can see that we have ungraded clips, graded clips, 
but with the addition of Lightbox, you can quickly come in here, see everything, make your selections quickly, and make an assessment of all your clips at the same time, and then head back to the color page and do any additional work you wanted to over there. So I think you can see the benefit of having this window included. As I mentioned, you can come in here and do what you need to. If I wanted to maybe select this clip right here and adjust it a little bit more cooler, I could. And you can see it turned a little bit more blue. And with the second monitor, you can actually see the adjustments that you're making. Having said that, I wouldn't do my primary work in here. And obviously things like effects, you don't even have an option to use those on this screen. It is nice that we have this window in case we wanted to make quick adjustments. And what I mean by that is, let's say we came here and we selected this clip and we lowered the exposure here. And I wanted to copy that to other clips. So I can choose Control C on my keyboard. And then I'll click on this one, Control click on that one, Control click on that one. And then I can hit Control V. And then now all those clips have the lower exposure. Now, in case you're wondering what these numbers are here on the right hand side, that's where in the timeline the first clip is. So for example, this clip right here, obviously is right at the beginning and that's why these are all zeros. This clip right here, that's the time that is shown over here on the edit page. So it says 106 and the 16th frame, come back to the color page here and that's what's reflected on the right hand side. So that is just a good reference of where in the timeline these particular clips are. If I were to make an adjustment, you may notice that some of these numbers have changed on the right hand side because obviously we have a different clip starting off on the left hand side. So again, right here, I have this one selected, come back to the timeline that says two minutes and 15 seconds, come back here on the color page, and right there, two minutes and 15 seconds. So thanks for watching, hopefully this helped. If you had any more questions about this, go ahead and leave a question in the comment section below. All my information is in the description below. I'd love for you to give this video a like, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.